Good evening. It's almost Thanksgiving, which means I have some free time. Let's talk about Final Cut Pro making a virtual choir video, building that grid. It took me a lot of time to figure out lots of YouTube videos, lots of plugins, and I think I found a really easy, clear, free way to do it. Um, my colleague, Cantor Claire Franco, reached out and said, how do you build the grid exactly? She's trying it. I don't know. It's not working. So here's how I do it. Um, let's take a look at a project I put together. So this was me uh, singing Ma Tovu by Donnie Ma sing, um, Cantor, guitar, and four parts. And I've got six videos here in my timeline. Now, they're not quite lined up. It doesn't really matter that much. I sized them almost perfectly, um, but we'll do a little bit of demo for that as well. So they're lined up. There they go. Clap, clap. Um, I got this uh, Simple Grid X Pro, saw it on a YouTube video, and tried it out. And this is the one that I realized would work. Um, there really is not any one like, uh, that I've seen plug in that'd be like, oh, you want 12 boxes? Here you go. Oh, you want 17 boxes? Here you go. That doesn't exist. One of the things about Final Cut Pro that makes it a great program is it's flexible and easy to work with, um, but it's sometimes you would say it's flexible to a fault. So we are, see, I can't help myself. I just keep fixing it. So the, um, uh, so you, you really just need to do it uh, the old fashioned way. There isn't a quick and simple way to do it. I think this is pretty good. All right, so when you are in Final Cut Pro, you go to your generators button over here and um, uh, I'll share the link uh, for where to get this uh, this plugin. Once you install it, it shows up, looks like this. I don't use this one. I don't even know what this one does, but this one works really well. So you take the plugin, you drag it down to the timeline, and look at that. It started off, but you need to drag it all the way across because you want it to show off on your entire video. So now you can see we have these green lines. I like to do about 20 thickness. You got line thickness. You have a number of horizontal lines and vertical lines. This will affect uh, the number of singers that you have. <laughs> I don't think I've gone that that many, but um, you could see that you could fit a number of little boxes here and you can play with it. It's got some other cool controls, but for now, let's keep it simple. So we've got three by two and I always get this wrong. I think is that the way? Nope. I got it wrong. Boom. Now look at that. As soon as I got the right number in, it looks like a proper box, a proper virtual choir. So um, all you got to do at this point is resize them. Let's go to the Cantor. Cantor actually looks pretty good. Um, the lighting isn't good. It's a little fuzzy, but um, who is this? I don't even know who this is. Oh, look at that. The Cantor is bleeding over. So let's go here, crop, and pull this in. And you see it's all kind of hidden underneath that green line. We'll deal with the top part later. Uh, let's go to the next one. Next one I think is pretty good. I can't go any lower. Nope, I didn't want to do that. Um, I can't go any lower. So that's the, that's the bottom of the video. So I'm going to pull this over, pull this over, and let's just let that vo voice part be like that. Here is another one, not sure who this is. Might be the alto. This one's definitely the tenor. My wife was making fun of me the whole time because I was being the tenor over there. You know what, this guy could go um, center a little bit more. I did chop off my head a little bit. Oh, well, it's just a demo. It's okay. So there's that one. Um, this is a um, hat I got from Ukraine. It's a rabbit hat. And I said, do you have any faux fur? And they're like, why do you need fake fur? Is, this is a real rabbit. It's good. And I was like, okay. <laughs> Thank you, Ukraine. Crop. Move that. Boom. Also, when you're putting the grid up, you want to make sure that there's no bleed in the video around 
the outside of the grid. So it's going to be black eventually, but you don't want like, you know, little colored lines bleeding through at the bottom. We'll check that in a second. All right, the guitar, let's do the guitar last, um, or let's do the guitar. Let's go here, grab the handle. If you're not familiar with this, by the way, this is the crop tool. You can do it this way, or you can go over here and you can say, and do it with numbers. You know, like that, you can play around with it. I usually just grab the handles, unless I'm lining up choir singers in which I say, um, You know, I'll say this person is, wait a second, you know, up here, transform the position. So I'll say, you know, this guy is at 268, and then I'll make everyone line up at 268.6, you know, just so everyone is, is really easy. But this, I'm just not being so precise. All right, and the guitar um, actually looks okay. Um, move this over a little bit, sure. Okay, but check it out. So now we have um, our six musicians all lined up. And um, let's go back to the grid. So the grid, you can also play with um, some other things here. But we don't need to worry about that because we got what we want. Hey, look at that. Ta-da! Oh, my wife snuck in there. What's up with my sound? Maybe it's just... Oh, because it's rendering. Well, it's on proxies, but it's still rendering anyway. All right, so anyway, um, yeah, now that I look at it, let's, uh, let's zoom in that tenor. So that is the simple version of it. Um, I will build one more. Let's say the guitar was not there and you need to make it a little, sim a little you know, this is very convenient where it's two by three. Um, <laughs> let's take away the guitar and let's kind of make it so that these two, um, you know what, there's an easy way. Let's just zero out the crop. Same with tenor. Tenor is not cropped at all. All right. So what do we do? First of all, you see how we still have the two by three grids. We need to change this. What we're going to do is we're going to keep this one intact and we're going to turn this into a two, uh, a grid of just two. So the way we do that is we say, nope. I always get those confused. We do this and we just pull this one up like that. And then um, you need, this is a little bit of trial and error. There's probably an easier way to do it, but just make sure that is pretty much um, go to position. This is where this comes in handy. Position zero, so now it's perfectly centered. And, oh, we have a little bit, and you can hit, I think it's option. And option will not move, center it. The option will just move the one that you're grabbing. So that is now in the middle, and we need to actually Okay, and this line is not very thick. I'm gonna ex explain how to fix that in a sec. All right, so let's clone. By the way, I'm holding down Alt or Option. I'm holding down Option and I just grabbed it and I dragged it up and it made a perfect clone of the one that we had before. Now, I'm gonna move it halfway down, negative, paste, boom. And let's center this one as well. All right, so do 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 and move it up to halfway all right now you see we got that annoying little uh annoying little thing we'll deal with that in a second the gap but we'll deal with that in a second and here i'm going to do three all right you can't tell but there's a there's a bar in the middle 
Let's move that tenor over so we really fill the screen. Shout out to my friend Josh Mason Barkin who convinced me that black in a video is bad. And uh, now I do my best to keep, you know, keep some activity there. So there's really nothing, no black exposed. All right. Um, and tenor, you know what? She doesn't want to be in that video. I'm going to take my wife, Malka, out of that video just because um, she probably looks bored. Now I back, went back to 100%, and this is the actual size of the video. Um, and just crop that in there. La, 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 la. There we go. Okay. Um, so that looks like, let's turn this off and look. Now you have a decent looking five way panel, except for that gap in the middle. I don't know why the people who make Simple Grid X Pro for some reason um, use these thin lines. It's not universally thick lines all around. I don't know, but I found a way around it. It's a little challenging, but it gets the job done. So I just cloned again. I cloned our grid. And um, this time we're gonna make it one by one. So I've just got a line. Now it is just a straight line. And I'm gonna turn that line. Oh, nope, that should be one by zero apparently. All right, we just have a straight line, right? Ta-da, it's just a line. All right, you put the line in the center and then you turn it Nope. Huh. All right. Let's go to 70. No. 360. Nope. 360. What is going on? It should just be at zero, shouldn't it? What did I do? All right. Um, see, a lot of this is just trial and error. You grab it, let's go sideways. That's what we want. All right. Oh, that's why, because I was working here and not in this one. Okay, so now it's, see that because I put in the number of the rotation. I was working in the um, generator options. I want to work in the video options. All right, so then you just grab it and pull it out. Ta-da! Now that looks pretty good. Um, I used this in a recent video for, um, I think you've got a friend. Yeah, and so now you've got a, um, we can zoom out, and if you really are interested, you can crop all of the other videos just so they don't bleed out of the screen. That one's good. This one's good. Oh, let's fix that one. Oh, let's fix that one. Shout out to uh, Natalie Young for organizing these cancer camp shirts for the West Coast folks. Yes, Arizona is kind of West Coast. It will be West Coast, you know after global warming melts all the polar ice caps. Does this go? No, it doesn't. All right, so I guess that's that. It's okay, no one's gonna know. And that's the thing, I mean, you can hide a lot of stuff here when you're doing tricks and sometimes it matters, sometimes it doesn't. The way you find out is by rendering and say, oh, I gotta fix that and do it again. Like for example, this chazan here is not quite centered. You know, when you're zoomed out, you can see that uh, he's not quite centered. So then you crop and nope, why did it do that? You crop and you fix it. And you see, as soon as I pull it over, it's hard to tell where the black line is. You pull it a little over too far and then you can see where the black line is. Here too. Where's the black line? There it is. All right, um, I think that does it.
guitar intro no longer happening there you go um that's how you do it so uh reach out with any questions um i'm happy to work with folks um let me know what i can do to help but um love and final cut pro i'm mixing audio and logic Clearly, I'm not mixing any audio here. Otherwise, all of these would have been muted and I would have had a, uh, an audio line down here. I usually go into Logic, do a mix down of all the parts, and then just import the final processed um, audio into here and then work with the video once it's all synced up. Anyway, I'm around. Take care, and I hope this helps. See ya.